Hi everybody and welcome to Pinfinity. My name is Vos and today is a continuation of the gold shader. My previous lesson has a lot of interest and uh, I have re request about create um, or recreate um, my gold shader in a very easy to use way and uh, lightweight and efficient. As you can see the parameter you have to tweak is straightforward no multiple sliders, no uh, giant big block of node because when you're working you should have a tool uh, ready to go for production and this is what I want to provide on the long term uh, with the material library of realistic shaders because unfortunately um, Anything I found didn't fit my needs, and that's why I dive into realistic rendering in the first place. So, um, one thing I found really interesting is that people asked me to uh, create a jack of all trade shader. And let me uh, re uh, be clear about uh, about this. If your goal is to create a photo real illustration design or or whatever, you cannot expect to have one big blocks of group node for everything. Each type of gold, for example, will require a different different setup simply because they are made with different materials. You can have a copper palladium in it. So uh, it will uh, affect how the the tint of the gold will behave. It will uh, affect the fresnel, the surface. Even if you put the same imperfection of, on each type of gold, it will not appear the same at the end. So you cannot expect to have a one for all, and that's why photo really is so hard to achieve in the first place. So the material I present to you today is made for yellow shiny gold. So a very specific target, so a very a specific setup as well. So it works in any light condition. So let me show you that. Now uh, it's a uh, outdoor scene with the with the HDRI. And uh, as you can see, it, it it worked pretty well. So, but keep something in mind: you can have the best uh, sh realistic shader in the world. If your light doesn't work, uh, it, the shader would not help. You really have to understand how light works to to be able to to use your shader efficiently. So, what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna. Sh um, with the studio render, let me disable the <coughs> the world. I already made. Let me let me change that. Let me see this. Um, Okay. Okay. Wait a second. Let me move the. I'm sorry, my mouse just. Move the panel a little bit. Okay. Um, for this scene, I have to decrease. I have to decrease the, um, the goal a little bit. So I'm going to decrease the value a little bit. I decrease it a little more. And as you can see, it work. So uh, this setup is for very drama dramatic lighting, but the shader will work uh, in 90% of every situation. And I, I, I can't even say 99 because as I said uh, previously, it's all about your lighting. If your lighting doesn't work, your shader will, uh, will, will look like shit. So, uh, so keep that in mind. So this shader with, uh, will be available on Gumroad if you're interested about it. So uh, if you have any questions, as always, don't hesitate to contact me 
on Instagram at pen underscore affinity or send me an email at info.penfinity.com and uh, I hope you will find it uh, useful and uh, as, as for now uh, I put my best knowledge to create uh, something really realistic and uh, physically based it works everywhere so it's uh, of course if I discover new new thing new techniques the, the shader will be upgraded and you will be able to to do download it if you purchase it but uh, you can already see it will give you amazing results with with the proper lighting the proper HDRI and that's really important you really uh, need to have the proper HDRI so if you have shitty HDRI it's not gonna it's not gonna help you so with the proper lighting you should this shader will, will look absolutely amazing with uh, with few settings of course you can uh, go in it um, if you want to uh, to, to tweak uh, if you really want to tweak something you can go in it but I don't advise you because I do all the work for you so uh, so, so trust me you'll be able to, to create really amazing stuff with it so um, oh uh, forget about this uh, I was uh, uh, putting this um, this slot just for test but in the the final shader you all, you will have this uh, only this one and uh, here is the I forgot to mention is the Fresnel influence so if I put it to zero I will have no Fresnel and uh, to one it will be the uh, really really shiny so uh, it will allow you to 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 uh, to, man uh, to manage to and adjust depending of the lighting situation so here it is and uh, see you soon everybody